Okay, welcome back. So the first rule of factoring we're going to talk about today is GCF. And GCF is an abbreviation that stands for greatest common factor. Now, that is a third grade vocabulary word. You all have heard that word before in a previous math class. Let's talk about what it stands for. Greatest means the biggest or the largest. Common means what they have the same. And factor is another word for divisor. So we're finding the GCF of arithmetic. We're finding the largest number both have in common they can get divided by. So let's look at our example. If in third grade you are asked to find the GCF of 6 and 8, that what I'm asking you is tell me the largest number both 6 and 8 have in common you can divide them by. What is their common factor? So back in elementary school what you did is on paper you listed all the factors of each number, you made a list, and then you saw the biggest number they had in common. So if you look here, if I list the factors as 6, I'm asking you what numbers multiply to 6. That could be 1 and 6, 2 or 3. So the factors of 6 in numerical order are 1, 2, 3, 6. Then I want the factors of 8. Again, that means what numbers multiply to 8. Every time you hear the word factor, you have to think multiplication. So what can multiply to 8? That's 1 and 8, 2 and 4. So those factors in numerical order are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Well, if you look closely now at both lists, the factors of 6 and the factors of 8, what is the largest number they have in common? And it's the 2. So we would say the greatest common factor of 6 and 8 is the number 2, which makes sense. You can divide 6 by 2, and you can divide 8 by 2. It's a number they have in common. You could divide them both by. And that should make sense because multiplication goes hand in hand with division. Now, the question you're going to ask me is, do I need to show those lists to find the GCF, or can I just do it in my brain? Well, that's our goal. Our goal in algebra is to get everything done up here. Less paperwork, more thinking. So I'm fine if you could do it in your head, but if you need to list out the factors, that's fine. And that's what we're going to go in a minute and do in our next video. We're going to make sure we all understand how to find the GCF of arithmetic. If you can do numbers, then the algebra is not going to be so bad. So I'll see you in the next video.